In this video, we'll derive the section formula for vectors in 3D. Here's the question. We have to find the position vector of R, which divides the line segment joining P and Q, whose position vectors are P vector and Q vector, respectively, in the ratio M is to N internally. So if we're giving the position vectors of P and Q, and we're given the ratio in which R divides PQ, that's M is to N internally, can we find the position vector of R in terms of P, Q, M, and N? Pause the video, give this a try. Okay, let's do this together. We have the origin O, and we have these two vectors, P and Q. So this point is P, this point is Q. This vector and this vector are position vectors of P and Q. This line segment, PQ, this is the one that's been divided by R in the ratio M is to N internally. Because it's an internal division, this means R sits on PQ. Let's say R is here. This is the position vector of R. This is what we need to find. This ratio is M is to N. All right. How do we do this? We know these position vectors, P vector, Q vector. Let's call this R vector. So we need to find R in terms of P, Q, M, and N. We can do this by looking at these two triangles. Let's look at this small triangle. In this triangle, we have this Q vector and we have R vector. Let's have this vector yellow vector called R Q vector. Let's try relating these three. Now to go from origin to Q, we have a direct way. We have Q vector and we have an indirect way. We can go through R. We can have R vector and then we have R Q vector. So by triangle law of addition, we have R vector plus R Q vector that's equal to Q vector. So the direct way is equal to the indirect way. The sum of these two vectors is equal to Q vector. So R vector plus R Q vector, that's Q vector. So using this equation, we can write R Q vector in terms of R and Q. We can do the same for one more vector. In this triangle, we have P R vector. Try writing P R vector in terms of P and R vector. Okay, let's do this together. To go from origin to R, we have two ways. Either we can go directly or we can go through P. So R vector should be equal to P vector plus P R vector. So P plus P R vector equals to R vector. And using this equation, we can figure out P R vector in terms of P and R. And why are we trying to figure out R Q vector and P R vector? Because these two vectors are related. First of all, these two are collinear because P, Q and R are on the same line, P, R vector and R, Q vector are collinear. One of them is a scaled version of the other one. And we also know the ratio. We know the ratio of their magnitudes. Mod of P, R vector is to mod of R, Q vector that's given as M is to N. This length by this length equals to M is to N. So we can use these two and we can write one of these vectors in terms of the other one. P, R vector by R, Q vector that's equal to M by N. Now let's eliminate PR vector and RQ vector using these two equations. We have PR vector is R vector minus P vector divided by RQ vector is Q vector minus R vector. So these two, the ratio of these two is equal to M by N. Now we can rearrange things and figure out the value of R vector from here. So let's cross multiply. N times R vector minus P vector is equal to M times Q vector minus R vector. That's NR minus NP equals to MQ minus MR. Let's bring all the R's to one side. We have M plus NR vector equals to MQ vector plus NP vector. Now let's divide both sides by M plus N. We have R vector equals to MQ vector plus NP vector divided by M plus N. And this is the section formula that we can use to find the position vector of R, which divides P and Q internally in the ratio of M is to N. We can do the same thing for external division as well. Let's find the position vector of R, which divides the line segment joining P and Q, whose position vectors are P vector and Q vector in the ratio M is to N externally. Pause the video, try this on your own. Okay, so we have the origin, we have P, we have Q, and this time R sits not between P and Q, but outside. So this is where R is. P, Q and R are in this case collinear as well. They're still on the same line. This is the P vector. This is Q vector. 
and this is the R vector. This is the line segment PQ and if you extend it, you will reach R. And if we draw the same two vectors, we have PR vector and then RQ vector coming back in the opposite direction. So we have these two vectors. Now let's write these two vectors in terms of P, Q and R. Okay. So let's start with a smaller triangle. We have one way to reach Q as Q vector and the other way is through R. So that's R vector plus RQ vector. So R vector plus RQ vector that's equal to Q vector. And in this bigger triangle, we have two ways to reach R. We can reach directly that's R vector or we can go through P that's P vector plus PR vector. So P vector plus PR vector that's equal to R vector. These two equations are identical to the ones that we see in internal division. Now we know two things about PR vector and RQ vector. First is that they are collinear. They're on the same line. And the second one is that the ratio is given. The ratio of their magnitudes is given as M is to N. And we have to be careful here. The ratio is M is to N, but one of them is in the opposite direction. So when we write the equation between PR vector and RQ vector, we have to be careful. We have to add a negative sign. So PR vector divided by RQ vector, that's equal to minus M by N. Look at this figure. This vector is going in this direction and the other one is coming back in the opposite direction. So that's where the negative sign comes from. Now we can cross multiply. So PR is R minus P divided by RQ. That's Q minus R. This stays the same. That's equal to minus M by N. Now we can cross multiply. We have N times negative of this. That's P vector minus R vector equals to M times Q vector minus R vector. Now let's open the brackets. NP minus NR equals to MQ minus MR. Let's bring all the R's together. We have M minus N R vector equals to MQ minus NP. So this becomes R vector equals to MQ vector minus NP vector divided by M minus N. So for internal division, we had plus here and plus here. For external division, we have minus here and minus here. So this is the derivation of section formula for vectors.